Hi friends, welcome to Mahi J Gallery YouTube channel. Today I am going to explain how to make a hybrid solar system and I explain hybrid battery solar system circuit diagram. I have a solar panel. Uh, 250 watt solar panel its short circuit current is 8.51 ampere and open circuit voltage is 37.74 volt then I take a wire from PV plus and PV minus PV plus wire connect to 20 ampere DC fuse and PV minus also connect to 20 ampere DC fuse. Then you can connect to DC SPD. It is very important for the lightning time, but I didn't use this. I directly connect to 20 ampere MCB DC MCB. If you can connect SPD, it is better. DC MCB minus wire connect to the LDR module. It is HUM131 module. This module is used for disconnecting solar current to the circuit in night time. But I didn't use 
that module I directly connect to volt ampere meter then we let's see how to connect ampere meter and short key diodes we can connect directly this wire directly to black wire in volt ampere meter then output red wire directly connect to the battery charging module negative line and this positive line directly connect to the plus input in battery charging module in that situation we have some disadvantage just therefore I use two short key diodes the disadvantage is module charge the battery and in the plus and minus terminal has a back current that back currents effect to the solar system directly to the solar system especially in night time and it is effect for the volt ampere meter reading also therefore I use short key diodes two short key diodes for preventing the back current positive lines connect together and I connect plus line to it and then that line connect to positive input then I directly minus line connect to volt ampere meter black wire then output is red wire connect to minus point minus terminal then these two are positive that connect to together and it is connect to minus input this yellow wire is directly connect to the positive line and you have to supply 3.5 to 30 volt for volt ampere meter solar power is come to battery charging module input this is xhm604 charging module that solar power connect to the input then these two terminals plus and minus go to the high bit battery minus and plus terminals and then start the charging in this module we can adjust starting voltage and stop voltage I adjust for 15.8 is starting voltage and uh, 16.8 for stopping voltage then when battery voltage is come to 16.8 volt this module will automatically disconnect the charging click 16.8 minus and 16.8 plus wire directly connect to the AC 2 pole main switch In switch output plus wire connect to the terminal and from minus wire also connect to the terminal 
then we can take 16.8 line everywhere In my case, I use 116.8 volt output to the phone charging module. I input 16.8 volt to phone charging module, then I take 5 volt out and I use for charging my phone. If you want you can take 16.8 volt line for the boost converter then you can boost the voltage to 19.4 voltage and you can charge your laptops then I take other 16.8 volt output to the 300 watt 20 ampere buck converter then I connect to buck converter input plus and minus 16.8 volt then I adjust buck converter output voltage to the 12 volt then I take 12 volt output from it I take 12 volt output through the fuse 20 ampere DC fuse then I connect to AC 2 pole main switch plus and minus then I take that plus wire is to the terminal directly then I use this it is very special this is a volt ampere meter this is a shunt 60 ampere shunt we can't measure more than 10 ampere from volt ampere meter but in this situation we have to measure more than 10 amperes using volt ampere meter therefore I use shunt let's see how to connect shunt and volt ampere meter first main switch output is connect to terminal and volt ampere meter red wire pw plus wire directly connect to plus wire then main switch minus wire directly connect to the shunt one side of shunt then comb wire this black wire or comb wire is connect to that side direct line and black wire connect to that then in plus wire or yellow wire connect to other side of shunt then shunt out is connect to that terminal this is minus side then we can take 12 volt lines we can use this 12 volt line for 12 volt LED in your home Wi-Fi router CCTV cameras CCTV TVR or any other 12 volts equipment you can use this line
hope you guys enjoy my video if you have any doubt please comment below like and subscribe my channel for more video like this thank you guys